wanting to get address changes and stuff done for the state. Uh, let me get some preliminary stuff out of the way. The party chairmen want me to let you know if you want to attend your party's convention, there is information at the check-in booth. For the Democrat Party, it's the blue half sheet. It's the full sheet for the Republican Party. Okay? Now that that's out of the way, let's talk about the voting equipment. If you did not vote with us in November, we have new equipment. There's now three stops you need to go to. The first stop is a laptop where you're going to register, sign, where you know all the all the multiple pieces of paper that you used to sign. It's gone. It's all on the laptop now. So you, and that's where you're going to choose which party's primary you're going to vote in. When you get done with that section, you're going to get a piece of paper. That's your ballot. Now, there's going to be some bar markings on the top that represents your ballot style. You're going to take it to what we call the ballot marking device and slide that piece of paper in where you see the three green arrows. That's going to bring it up, and you're going to vote on the ballot marketing on the ballot marking device. The wheel of democracy is no longer in service. We are now in the 20th century. We're touchscreen, so you can touch your way through. No matter which party you vote in, it is a long ballot. So make sure you get all the way through the ballot to the summary pages at the end to record how you voted. At that summary page, you're going to see one, two buttons. One says print, the other says return. If you return, you will get your piece of paper back, but it will be blank. And then you've got to stick it back in and re-vote because nothing happened. You need to hit print. Print will record how you voted on the ballot. Look at it to make sure it recorded it correctly. If it did, then you're going to take it to the third spot, which is the actual ballot box. Slide it into the top of the ballot box. You'll get a little clock and a waving American flag. When you get the flag, you're done. That piece of paper gets saved as the official audit trail of the election, so you won't get the paper back, but you will record it. We now have the audit trail. So again, three spots. The laptop, the bar, ballot marking device, and then the ballot box. Otherwise, welcome. Thank you. We'll get you in as fast as we can.